C8 Pate. Back at you with another video. And in today's video, we are doing a quick walk around and review of the Polaris Slingshot SL. So I've been riding this thing and enjoying it a bit. And I'm ready to give my thoughts on it. So I'm gonna give my likes and dislikes. I'm gonna start with dislikes first. Then I'm going to just do a little overview of like what's going on with it. So we'll, we'll start there first. Hit that subscribe button for me right now. Let's talk about this. As all of you guys know, I am a convertible like Mustang, Spider, I mean Mustang and Corvette guy. Um, I also am a Spider owner and I'm also a Riker owner, can and Riker owner. So the slingshot is somewhere in between my convertible Corvette or Mustang or whatever and a Riker Spider. I would say this is in between that, the overall riding experience for me from what I noticed. So the total weight of this thing is 1,700 pounds. To be exact, 1,749. The fuel capacity is 9.77 gallons. So if we want to try to compare those real quick, I'll give the comparisons as well. The weight on my Riker is like 600 pounds. The weight on my um, Spider is like almost 900 pounds. This thing is 1,700 pounds. The fuel capacity, 9.77, so almost 10 gallons. My Riker um, only will hold about three gallons and my Spider holds about five gallons. Um, miles per gallon, this thing does about 35 miles per gallon. 35 miles per gallon with a fuel capacity of almost 10 gallons. So you do the basic math, 10 times 35 miles per gallon, and you can figure out how many miles you can get off this thing on one take of gas. The top speed on this is 125. It's a 2.4 liter engine. The horsepower is 178. Um, the CCs, if we wanted to equate it in CCs, right? So the Riker, you comes in a 600 CC, a 900 CC. The Spider is like a 1330 CC. This thing comes in at 2,384 CCs. Um, it's a five-speed trans, Pro-Star engine, Ride Command display. Got that beautiful display on the inside. Um, Rockford Fosca Audio. This one is the SL. You know it's the SL because right back here it says Slingshot SL. So they have the S, which is this the base bottom bargain, right? For like twenty-one thousand, the SL is about twenty-eight thousand. The SLR is thirty thousand. The R, the top of the line, is about thirty-three thousand. And then they also have a special edition slingshot. So. They got the variety in all price ranges that you want. If I was to get one, I would get the R. 100% comes in special colors, bunch more toys on it. That's the one I would get. I would get the Slingshot R if I was to get one. So let's talk about it. I put probably about, about 500 miles on this so far, five to six. Dislikes. We'll start with the dislikes and end with the likes. So one of the dislikes was the thing's sluggish. It's a five speed. In my opinion, and you know, if we would equate it to like gears, one and two, it's very sluggish. It seems like it's struggling for power. It's struggling to like get started or something. So I'm not sure if that's the SL is like that. So get in the comment section, let me know if you have an R and let me know if you're trans set up and everything and as you're going through gears and speeds, is it consistent throughout? Not sluggish, not struggling for power? I felt like this one was in my opinion. Um, the motor and the engine, loud as heck. This thing, man, this thing is loud, loud, loud. The only thing loud I want to hear is either the music or the exhaust. I don't want to hear the, the this engine is loud, especially as it's changing gears. Um, a lot of cars, it seemed like they couldn't see me. So, you know, I would either like lay back if I'm coming up on a lane. It just seemed like a lot of the cars could not see me because I'm sitting so low. Um, what else did I not like? Number four. I did not like this part of things. So 
if I got a reverse and I got a neutral and I got drive, I would like a park as well, instead of you have to just pull this up and that's your park. And I get it, I understand why they did that, but I would like a park right there, but that's just my own selfish need, right? Last but not least, one of my last dislikes is, it's not a Riker or a Spider, right? So, I feel like the Riker is quick, the Spider has power, I don't know, I feel like this is underpowered for me, but not just that, I like the actual experience of sitting on a Riker or a Spider. I feel like I got more control. This I felt a little bit out of control, so it took me some days to get used to that back wheel and so on and so forth. Who knows? If I keep riding this for like another two months or something, I might fall in love with it, but for right now, I'm not that in love with it. Let's go to my likes. One of my likes is, is this windshield. So I didn't have to wear goggles or anything like I'd have to do on a Riker or a Spider. I do like the fact that it had a windshield on it and the wind definitely, you know, it deflects the wind in the air and away from me. It did get some attention. I wouldn't say it got as much attention as maybe like my custom Riker or Spider gets, but it did get, you know, its fair share of attention in my opinion. Um, the screen, this main screen, I do like the fact that, you know, just like a car, it has your contacts on it, your text messages come straight up on the screen, you can tell who's calling, so on and so forth. So I 100% did like the screen, I even like the button layout on the steering wheel. I like the dash. There's some things to like there. Uh, I like the fact that it's a convertible, right? kind of fun in its own way with that being a convertible i had a little bit of fun to a certain degree if you look at it it's, it's kind of like sitting in a bathtub you know what i mean so to a certain degree man i kind of felt like i was taking a bath but it was fun last but not least on the likes number five i like the storage i like that it has storage on it on both sides, you can pull the seat back and that's where the storage is. So I really like that as well as it has like some little dashboard thing here that'll come down. So you got a little bit of storage there. You can put your phone right here and this comes up. So this is also storage, right? That, however, I think I gotta turn the car on to get it to open, but that comes up as well. So you got a little bit of storage on there. So those are kind of like my likes of the bike. Get in the comment section, let me know if you think I missed something. If you think I was wrong on something, I get it. I'm not saying that I am the slingshot expert because I am not, but I'm getting there. So my overall experience, if I had to give it a, a but to wrap this video up, uh, let's just talk about handling. And uh, I think this thing handles nice overall. I felt like I had a, a, a good time with the handling once it gets up you know, like to third gear, if you want to call it that, and we're on the expressway or what have you. Um, a fun time. Even hitting bumps, they weren't that bad. It didn't feel like the thing was going to fall apart. So I felt like they put a decent suspension system on it. But again, this is for me riding Rikers and Spiders with Elka shocks on them. So I think this is probably slightly a, a, a better upgrade than that. So I bet you if you put some type of custom shocks on this and suspension, I bet you this thing just rides better than most cars. So that's my video, people. Please hit that subscribe button and become a part of this wonderful three-wheel community. I am going to, I'm going to get an R and I'm going to test that R out. But y'all here are allowed that engine is. Come on, man. Y'all know. I hope y'all can hear how loud that engine is. That boy loud as hell. I want that exhaust to be loud. But again, I don't really feel like I took off right there. It feels like it's under power. So I think I do need an R because, you know, me, I normally had, you know, the top of the line on most vehicles. So that is what it is. But we're going to get out of here. Y'all know where we are. Y'all know where we are. Oh, where are we? Okay, 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 okay. Hit that subscribe button. C8 Paint out.